Today is the day. I promised you we would do a series called Things That Scare Jack. And I have been dreading this video because uh, it's, it's something I never wanted to attempt because it's always seemed hard to me. So things that scare me, uh, like in the kitchen, uh, there are certain food items that I don't like to cook with because it's really tough to cook with or certain things to do. Like today we're going to do uh, pizza from scratch. We're going to do pizza dough and that just scares me. Anytime you start working with flour, I'm not good. If flour is involved, ugh. Not sure how you guys do your dough, but uh, these are some basic ingredients. Uh, oil and flour, obviously your active dry yeast, a little kosher salt. We're doing a little ground white pepper and just a drop of honey in there just to make it pop, not to sweeten the dough too much. But uh, it sounded interesting, so I thought I would try it out. Oh yeah, and I got one of these pans too. Hold on, let me show you. This is a 16 inch uh, pie uh, tin. So I'm gonna be using this, it's got holes in the bottom uh, so that you can get a nice crisp crust. The heat cooks the bottom very well too. So I'm gonna be doing this. You can uh, use a pizza stone if you want. If you don't know what a pizza stone is, then you probably don't have one. Uh, you can use one of these, you can get anywhere. Or you can even take uh, take the, uh, just like the bottom side of a, a big uh, metal pan. Okay, so get yourself a bowl. Take your yeast, and, and remember the recipe's down below, all the measurements and everything. But uh, take your yeast, put it right in there. Make sure you get it all. Then you're going to do one and a half cups of warm water and you want to make sure it's bath water warm. It'd be the temperature that you would take a bath, okay? And just go ahead and pour it right in there with the yeast. Look at that. Get that all mixed in there. And you're just going to leave that for about five minutes. See how that's all kind of milky white? Just set that off to the side for about five minutes. Now the active yeast has been in the warm water for about five minutes. We're going to move on and start adding in our flour. We're going to do three and a half cups of flour. Put that in there. Add in our kosher salt. We're going to add in the white ground pepper. And just a smidgen of honey. Just a little bit. If I can get it out. Come on. That's it, just a little bit. We're gonna work this in. Okay, so you're just gonna start with a spatula, but you're gonna have to get your hands in here in a minute. Because that's where all the magic happens. So make sure your hands are all nice and clean. Then you're gonna take a little bit of olive oil And you're going to find a few, uh, few times I'm going to reach for the olive oil. Never have too much olive oil, but just drizzle a little bit. There we go. There. That's good. Then you're going to get in there with your hands. You're going to kind of work this in with the olive oil there. So you can see we got a little bit of a dough mixture right there. Now we're going to move it to a clean bowl. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil in there. Then you're going to slowly... Work the dough into the into there, and you're gonna take it, let it hit the oil, and then just kind of flip it. Ooh, look at that! Isn't that cool? See the oil on there? That's nice. We're just gonna leave that. Well, that was pretty simple so far. Let's go to the next step here. This is the, easy, this is the easiest step of them all. You're gonna cover this. plastic wrap. I'm using stuff called press and seal and basically you just press it and it seals. Pretty cool stuff. Tuck everything else under. See? It's 
all nice and sealed. And we're gonna let that sit for about an hour and a half. It should double in size if I did the job correctly. So we'll come back and look at this in a minute. Now, once again, hour and a half. So that means it's time to go work on your toppings for the pizza. Get them all prepared. You should be using fresh ingredients. You make fresh dough, use fresh ingredients on top. So I'm gonna pull that all out. That's, you're not gonna see that till next week. This is the dough episode, but I'm gonna start working on my ingredients and I'll show you that video next week. In the meantime, I'll be back in an hour and a half to show you what happened to the dough and we'll work with that next. Let's take a look at our dough. It's been about almost an hour and a half. It's definitely, I can tell that it's doubled in size. See inside there? So we're gonna open it up, take a look at it. Oh yeah, look at that, isn't it crazy? You can see the air pockets and all that. We're gonna put that off to the side for right, this, right at the moment. We're gonna need that in a minute. And I don't mean need like need to eat it, but we're gonna need it with our hands. So what we gotta do is flour our board. So I'm gonna, I saw this on the internet. I'm gonna try this out right now. Just dust the board. There you go. Any strainer will do this. There, that's good. Do that for right now. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fingers and just kinda pull the sides out of the, like that. Seems a little wet, don't worry about it. You're just gonna kinda roll it right out here. Whoops, then you're gonna dust the dough. You can kind of work with it. They didn't really give me a, a time frame on, on needing this. So if it seems wet, hit it with uh, dusting again. Mine seems a little wet. So I'm just gonna bring this together. Now I'm not gonna need all this. So I'm going to take some of it away. I'm guessing I'm going to need about three-fourths of this. So we'll take you. I know you guys are gonna call me a guy, but uh, I'm using my son's Gatorade bottle. It's all clean. You're gonna flour it all completely. Anything in the shape of a cylinder will work for rolling out. I might buy a rolling pin someday if this goes well. I'm gonna wanna do more pizzas, so. But right now, I ain't investing the money. Pan close. Let's work with this. All right, so I got it worked in there. There's my pizza crust. How do they do this now? They do this kind of a stretching. Get your fists under there. Oh. <laughs> Obviously you're gonna need flour. I got some kosher, hold on. Freaking birds are like loud outside. Hang on a minute, let me go shoot him. I'll be right back. 